Hello my friends, I am Jihondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Aurora. This is episode 12. Uh, during episode 11, uh, we got some research done. Uh, we continued uh, getting our colony in the other sector up and running a little bit quicker, including a very minor but nice little bonus. I built a improved sector command on Earth and added the Lumen sector to it. So all of our colonies here on, in the Lumen sector will count as oops, sorry about that. Uh, will count as having that same sector governor. We'll add a nice tiny but nice bonus to all of those. Um, in the meantime, of course, our civilian friends have been continuing to ship all the mines over. There's still a lot to do, but they are in process, which is nice of them. And at the very end of the episode, I went and designed two new ship classes, so we're going to go ahead and start building one of each of those. First, we'll retool for... Uh, we have a jump gate builder. The only purpose in that ship's life is to fly to a jump gate point, build it, go through it, build one on the other side, go back through it, and go home. That's its only purpose in life. It has no scanners or anything. It is just a construction fleet. So let's go ahead and get that going. And then we'll go ahead and build one. Did I just... I just switched that to the wrong one. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, it must be uh, within the same size range as the Echo, or not. What is going on here? Brief pause while I check and make sure that I'm not losing my mind, but I clearly remember designing these things. Jump Gate Builder. That's a Jump Gate Builder. It's a thing. It exists. Uh, it's not eligible to be the same size. It's not so large that my shipyard shouldn't have been able to handle it. Okay. Oh, it is doing it now. I just... Okay, never mind. I'm clearly losing my mind. Never mind. Alright, we'll go ahead and start building one. Which will take a little while, because it, it is a pretty complex ship, but that's okay. Not a problem. Once that's done, we'll then retool for the other ship I made, which is a what I'm calling a pure scout. Um, so, sort of like the um, jump scout I had earlier, only minus all of the jump gate building stuff that I've obviously put onto here which makes it a lot lighter and therefore a whole lot faster. It's still only good for a one-year deployment, um, so again, hopefully I'm paying a bit better attention than I was to the previous one, but it should also get a lot more surveying done in that year just because the speed is so much higher. It's a very, very fast ship, so that should be good. And we're getting into 82. I seem to remember a mental note I gave myself that in 83, some of our Sol system mining colonies are going to expire, which means I'll then need to be able to uh, need to be able to need to remember to switch them over and start shipping all their mining stuff elsewhere. Let's go check on them. Yes, so Hyperion is done. So what I can do now is I can say Hyperion can supply mines and mass driver. And the other one that was going to be close would be this one, which is also done now. So again, it can supply a mass driver and 100 auto mines. And down here, the next available place is this guy here, so it will demand those mines, and so then this one will demand the other hundred, and mass drivers, it will demand one, and you will demand one. Excellent. 
there are still some available on Earth. Um, well, actually, I guess it's, they're done now because I was working on these ones as well. And I wasn't sure how far they had gotten. But either way, they would probably take them from here anyway just because they'll be closer. But if, either way, it's fine. That does mean, though, that my mining situation over here should be looking a lot better once these guys actually arrive. And that would be nice. But in the meantime, let us continue watching our ship build here. Oh, I should check on research as well. Yep, something's done. I'm currently working on both the power plant and engine for the next class of uh, vehicle speed, so we'll just speed that along. That will do. They're still both a long way off, but that will be a really good speed upgrade, so that'll be nice. Anyway, let's continue to make some progress here on our jump gate builder. Right, that's done. And for now, it could just sit in the in the um, in the shipyard task group because I don't have anywhere to actually build yet. That's why we're now going to go and retool for the scout. And build one of them. Because we still have a lot of jump gate search areas to do in the Sol system itself, so I think so. I can't remember I don't think we actually got all of them done. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and build one of these. I think I might, once the other research is done, I might put a rank or two into shipyard building speed because this seems a bit slow to me. But anyway. In the meantime, there's really no reason you shouldn't be expanding. At some point, I am going to want to start building super massive ships. So, Not for a while yet, but at some point, I'm sure I'm going to want to. So it'll be nice to have that ability. check on the moon while we're at it. How are they in terms of atmosphere? Still not very good. That's fine. They're still just grinding away at it though, so they'll be alright. The search is still going strong. Excellent. Let's keep going. Yeah, I definitely want to put some more points into shipyard building speed because this is not a terribly large vessel. It should not really be taking this long to build, in my opinion, anyway. Yes, I realize there's a lot of complex things on it, but still, it, this has seemed like it took far longer than I think it should have. But anyway, we'll worry about that another time. For now, we have... A new skipped. So grab our shipyard group, grab the pure scout out of it. Excellent. Now let's give you some orders. First and foremost, when your supply gets low, I absolutely want you returning. I guess I can't say return to capital. I'm afraid it might just go to a colony that doesn't have anything, like just a, um, a mining colony, and that won't be very helpful. Oh, I could just say join parent fleet in system and then set its parent fleet to be something that's not going anywhere. Yeah, for, okay, that'll work. We'll do that. Superior formation will be the shipyard group. Right now it's just the B and the B's not going anywhere, so... Alright, so when it runs low in supply, meaning it's about to start blowing up, fly back to Earth, where the uh, shipyard group is. And in the meantime, survey whatever you can, because it has both types of sensors, so it should have no trouble 
finding something to do. Hopefully. But we'll check. Oops, not that. Let's check on it to make sure it actually decided to have something going on. No, it did not. No, so it definitely has more work to do. Oh, I, that's right. I need to tell specifically it's gravitationally survey, not geologically survey. That might do it. Give that another day. And yes, there it goes. So I can see it's left. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty fast ship. <laughs> it's been, it's now three days, four days, five days. It's basically in the orbit of Uranus, close enough. And that's only five days. That is amazing. Uh, for comparison's sake, you know, any, you know, um, probe or anything that we sent from Earth today would take many, many, many months to get to Uranus. It actually, it's in years. It's better to compare. And this just did it in five days. That is crazy. I like it. Anyway, let's go check on, have we finished stripping away the stuff here yet? No. Okay. Have we at least started loading the stuff here? No. Okay, so they're still working on these then. Which is a very, very slow process, clearly. But they are at least doing so. Oh, and I never set the... Uh, these should all be firing to Moon 5. Because Moon 5 is our colony. There we go. Okay. And Moon 5 is the destination. So it should start receiving stuff through the mass driver. So these will start going up nicely. And that will be helpful. Okay. In the meantime, let's continue advancing. Actually, what I'll do is I'm going to put this on auto and just let it zip ahead on its own. While this thing goes ahead and scans, we had something pop and it's research. Good enough. Let's research. And I wanted to upgrade the ship building speed because it definitely feels very slow to me. So let's work on that next. Okay. And let's go back to auto ticking days. And you can see the civilian fleets are very busy. Which is nice. Although I'm not sure if they're busy doing the stuff I've asked them to do or they're busy on their own minds, but anyway, they're busy, so I guess there's that. <clears throat> and once this thing is done, assuming I haven't got it blown up. Once this is finally done doing all the surveying, I'll send it back to Earth for you know shore leave, refuel, resupply, all that, and then I'm going to send it to the other um, the other solar system. Let it start doing all the geological surveys on all the asteroids because those are only partially complete. All the moons were scanned and some of the asteroids, but not all of them. So we still need a lot of more geological surveying done. But we'll let it finish the gravitational surveys here first. trying to keep refreshing these screens here. 
there. There's a screen that doesn't want refreshes. Looks like we have stopped for something. Ah, research is done. Okay. Excellent. Next, let us work on. Maybe I'll just do another one. Yeah, I'll just do another shipbuilding right off the bat. That way the next ship we build will go significantly faster. And that would be good. How are we doing on... We're not doing well here at all in dragging stuff away. I'm starting to think the civilians are more interested in working on their own stuff than what I've told them to do. Well, maybe not. They seem to be doing okay here. Um, these three are right. For some reason, they sent 11 here that belong here, which is kind of strange, but we can fix that. So you will demand 11, and you will supply 11. I was trying to get 20 to each, which is what I was ultimately trying to do, and somehow this one got 31, and this one only got 9 for reasons that absolutely elude me, but anyway. Let's bump the clock ahead here. We should start to see, yeah, some ships on the way to fix that problem for us, so that's fine. And I would really like them to go ahead and get uh, these guys going for me here. Not sure what they're waiting on, but anyway. But, who knows. Um, okay, so that's done and that's done. So yes, we have... Oh, and we found a new jump point too. Excellent. Okay, so first let's sort out... Uh, the research and that shall be hmm. what shall that be maybe I should go back to working on defense a little bit we have really crappy armor maybe I should start working on that is one or eventually at some point one of these gates I jump through will spawn a computer player. I set it to ten percent, I think, or was it thirty percent? I think it was thirty percent if I go and ten percent if another computer goes. So there is a a pretty hefty chance that we're going to sooner or later run into an, another another race, and that will be scary. So somewhere over here, you found. Oh, right here. To, apparently to the Unix system, whatever that is. Okay, well, either way. Let's first make sure that our ship here is doing okay. Yeah, they're still doing okay. So then uh, we can send the B to go ahead and build. There, right there. I was looking for jump point, not waypoint. Ah, oh, silliness, silliness, silliness. Anyway, so you will go there and you will build me a gate. And that will be lovely. Do so now. And what happened now? Inactive labs. Okay, we can fix that. We can absolutely fix that because this one here would like some more labs. And thus you shall have them. Keep going. Alright, now what's happening? We found another one. Fantastic. Or is that the same one and I'm just losing my mind? Oh, okay, it's not the Unix system. Unix is short for unexplored. Okay, never mind. Silliness. 
Either way, we still haven't built this gate yet, let alone this one, so. One at a time would be good. Okay, why did you stop for them building <coughs> mines? I don't care if they build mines. Okay, filter event, civilian mining colony, gone. Moving on. Yeah, I don't really care if they build mines or not. That's They're totally allowed to. I am, after all, now a benevolent dictator. <laughs> so I don't mind if they do that. Besides, they're doing me enough service hauling all my mines around for me, so I don't mind in the slightest if they... As long as they're not using my mines to do it, I don't care. So that's fine. I think I should have made this a little faster, but that's actually quite fast. It's only a 1,000 kilometers per second. I guess just because it's so far away, it seems like it's taking a long time. But anyway. Alright. Yet another new jump point. Over there. Excellent. <clears throat> All right, let's get over here and see if we can see. Okay, so yes, it has started building. Excellent. And we already got stuff exhausting on Moon 2. All right. Which I guess I should have just gone through this way. It'd be easier. Moon 2. Do you have anything left? No, you are already completely and utterly done. Okay, so be it. I guess then I may as well just ship everything from here back to the, um, the actual colony. So there's no point in it sitting here. It's not accomplishing anything anyway. Plus, that gives the civilians something to do. I wouldn't want them getting bored. <laughs> While we're in here, let's go check on the moon. Well, the atmosphere is at about half, which is still not enough, but it's getting there. That's getting there. How's our research doing? Still... No, this one's almost done. That's good. That's very, very good. How is our scout doing? Doing totally fine here. It's getting close to the um, expected duration of its trip, but it's still doing okay, so we can continue. Right up until something happens. All oh, right, the research app is almost done. Right, right, right. Okay. What shall we work on next? Let's get better weapons ready. Do I seriously never bother researching that? Okay, well, let's fix that. I remember designing it, but I thought I also researched it. Apparently not. No problem. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. We are stopped again for that research. Fair enough. Right. Um, definitely don't want that. That seems terrible to me. That would be useful. Actually, there's quite a few things here that would be useful. One isn't there. Uh, 
let's start though with extra laser range. And uh, how is our jump builder doing? Okay, still about four months or so. Problem. Off we go. Yeah, we're making pretty good progress here. This is by far the best I've ever done. Actually, two episodes ago was the best I had ever done up until then, so everything since then has been... Oh, there is competition. We have new competition. Well, I wouldn't want these guys to be a monopoly, so let's go ahead and uh, feed these guys some startup cash here. Let them get going. I don't mind having two fleets competing for my business. That seems like a, a good problem for me to have. Let them comp compete for my business. Okay, so you are now done. All four of the jump points. Okay, so you will now go back to Earth to refuel, resupply, and bring your clocks down. And when you're done all that, then we'll send you over to do some geological surveying in, uh, well, one of them. Well, by then I'll have two different systems to work with, but one of them anyway. That's not why you stopped me. I don't care when they build new ships. I'm glad they they exist, but I don't care that they built new ships. Civilian construction gone. Okay, moving on. I fully expect them to build new ships. In fact, I expect them to be building them regularly. I don't just don't need to know about it. My benevolence has limits. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so nothing? Why did we stop? Nothing's happening. Why did you stop? Weird. Oh, I missed. When I clicked that, that must have thought I wanted to stop. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, you can't overhaul there because you're a humongous ship and I have apparently very crappy maintenance here. Well, okay then. Seriously, that's it? That's all I've got is enough for 1,000? That's a lot less than I thought. Okay. Uh, I guess I need to build a bunch of maintenance facilities. I don't know how many, but let's start with, I don't know. Where was the size there? Okay, so it's 200 tons per facility, and my biggest ship is. I keep pressing F4. I don't know why I do that. My biggest ship is. Where is this? The easiest way to see is the size. Okay, right there. 59, 65, 50. 60,000, 105,000. Okay, so I need to get that to a point where it can support 105,000. Yikes, at 200 a pop, that's uh, over 5,000 of them. Well, I don't like that very much, so I don't. Anyway. Okay, you still need some more time. That's fine. 
So in the meantime, I guess I have to tell this thing not to do overhauls. Oh, it's already dropped that order anyway. No, that's fine. That's fine. So you just sit there. It actually should be repairing itself a little bit anyway, because I do have improved damage control on it. So, But basically, as long as that's fine, that's fine, and that's fine, I don't see any reason I can't go ahead and just send this guy on its way. Uh, that other gate's not done yet anyway, so we'll just go ahead and transit over here. And then we'll be doing geological surveys after that. Okay. And well, that's a bit far. Off you go. from there because there are still tons for it to do and we need to do some more research that's never a bad problem I think I do want to continue working on combat ability because I just have this sense we're going to be bumping heads with an alien race soon and I can't imagine a scenario where they're going to like me right out of the gate so While I don't pretend that anything we have researched yet is going to be even close to what they'll have, the closer we are, the longer we'll survive. So that's the plan, anyway. Yeah, it's quite the whole spiral of asteroids around this secondary sun. Well, it's a very interesting design of, uh, of a system. More research to do. Good problem to have. Uh, next shields. Oh, no, that wasn't what it was complaining about. What was it? What did it stop for? For nothing. There's nothing happening. Okie dokie. <laughs> Why don't you just continue on your way then? Mineral pack. I was going to say, what ship just came through? There shouldn't be any ships coming through yet. Anyway, um, at this point, though, we should be able to add a few more mines out here, especially if it's available for Corundum. But at this point, really anything. So I should actually just use the minerals tab here. Because right now, I have five. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there's four I don't have right now. So let's fix that problem right away. By creating some of these colonies. Well, that one's firing one, so clearly already has one. got one that's our home base and that's a gas giant which we cannot mine from I could build research and build a uh, sorium harvester and then just have a ship just sit here and and mine it it just the, it, the problem with that though is it doesn't actually mine the sorium directly it just puts it straight into fuel although that's not a big deal because that's all as far as I know the only thing we use sorium for anyway so that's probably okay but anyway uh, before I forget, I want to take the 20 extra mines and the extra mass driver off of there. Oh, for some reason they still aren't done yet. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll just remove the demand from here and add it somewhere else. This will, in fact, supply 17 and a mass driver. Just a single one though. 
to the next one of these that doesn't have anything, which I guess would be you. So you will demand a mass driver and 20, no, not 23, 20 auto mines. That will be fine. And yeah, this is good. Let's check the state of our scout just to make sure its fuel situation is good and supplies are good. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good here. All right, I think at this point that's a pretty good spot to put a cut in for this episode. So thank you to everyone for joining me today. And until next time, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.